keep you reinstated. Thousand dollars, you're stealing fifty fucking thousand dollars. What the fuck did you teach me? You didn't teach me shit. You guys are fucking lazy and irrelevant. All you all do is oppress all day long. Classroom management is the only fucking thing you all should teach, cause the only you you only want hundred percent compliance. I guarantee fucking tea, that's what it is. You think I'm supposed to be your goddamn fucking slave? You shut your fucking mouth. You keep your mouth fucking shut, you little bitch. Oppression. You know she sits there and says you must yell at the fucking kids. You bureaucratic fucking stupid ass piece of shit. You guys are irrelevant. There's no point for teachers. If you can't do something, you fucking teach because you don't have any skills. You're not an expert in your fucking field. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Get the fuck out of this meeting. Get the fuck out of here. Every single one of you motherfuckers, you corporate criminal fucks, you stupid fucking fascist, ugly fucking fascist pig motherfuckers, you defending sexual harassment piece of shit. They're fucking manipulating, treating the fucking kids bad. They're making them fucking slaves. They're making what the fuck is wrong with you, stupid ass motherfuckers? You are relevant fucking. This is yesterday's fucking peoples. This is yesterday. They didn't fucking teach. They stole fifty thousand dollars away from me. They stole it just because I want to be a real teacher who inspires curiosity. Can we at least make our own decisions and our own choices and not be a goddamn fucking slave? Does it got to be so fucking oppressive? Does it have to be so fucking? You know, get the fuck off my fucking ass. Get the fuck off my fucking ass. Get the fuck off. Quit looking over my fucking shoulder. Get off my fucking ass. Treat me like a fucking person. God damn it. The cause of it was because um, the fan in the flames, it was right before the election, but it was sparked by the Know Nothing Political Party, an offshoot of the Shattered Whig Party. So this is Henry Clay. Henry Clay was Whig Party, and then yet Know Nothing's come out of his party, right? Fed in large part by the radical, inflammatory, anti-immigrant writings, especially those of the Louisville Journal, George D. Prentice. Who's George D. Prentice? He's got a big-ass statue right outside the Louisville Library, the downtown main library. George Prentice has a big old statue. You. Okay, Germans and Irish are recent arrivals and comprised a third of the city's population. So they were part of the new, you know, the actual, um, the, the intertwinings, the fabric of Louisville, right? The Germans were very much a third of the party here, a third of the people, and they were, you know, starting businesses and they were being productive. George D. Prentice. So this is why do Louisvillians need to know about the 1855 Know Nothing Rights? Well, it's their own personal history that happened. You have a statue that honors this, you know, George, this anti-immigrant person who basically um, just exaggerated reporting and talking about how the Germans were going to take over and then eventually uh, the, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants just started attacking and murdering um, people in both uh, Butchertown and in the West End. There is Irish communities in the West End. Cincinnati riots of 1855. Uh, there are clashes between nativist and German Americans. So this is again. So the very same year you have a corresponding riot right at the same time right before the election day in Cincinnati. So you got Germans who never, Germans didn't go to the south. Germans, so my cousins were just completely wrong in every which way possible, okay? They are just a bunch of white supremacists. They're like, oh, we have brown skin and we're Germans and we're going to pretend as if we're white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. They're, be, they're conformist. You know, they're just jumping into the middle pot and... Um, You stole $50,000 away from me. And for what? $50,000? You didn't fucking teach me. What the fuck did you teach? You didn't teach shit for two and a half fucking years. Nothing but oppression. Just because I want to talk about the 1855 No Nothing Rights, I want to inspire and break racism. You're defending white supremacy. You're defending sexual harassment, oppression. She says you must yell at the kids. You must yell. You must get in their faces and point in their fucking faces. You don't give a shit. You don't give a fuck. I was fucking treated there, motherfuckers. And Mangio, she's popping packs, so lying bitch. So you two days ago, you fucking called me. You fucking called me two days ago. And what'd you say? Everything would be okay? You fucking lied. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, stupid ass motherfuckers. Yeah, you old fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Every single one of you motherfuckers. I can't believe it. Julie Chancellor fucking love JP Morgan. Yeah, you motherfuckers defend white supremacy. Clue. Klux Klan. You fucking defend ignorance and stupidity. She doesn't even know her fucking history. She thinks George Washington and motherfucking uh, um, uh, the blacks and the Indians fought George Washington. Are you stupid? Are you fucking kidding me? Y'all let 
Terry Shoon fucking molest me. Y'all should go burn in hell for that shit. And then you're going to steal fifty fucking thousand dollars. Fuck you. Yeah, Mr. Hudson, this is uh, Jonathan Masters. How are you doing? I'm well. I was expecting to see you at 1 o'clock today. Yeah, it's it's kind of a pain in the ass to have to drive, you know, an hour away for something that we could have just resolved over the Internet. But um, um, I, I, I hope we can just talk about it now. Um, I'd rather talk in person. No, nah, that's not, it doesn't need to be that way. There's four days that I went to the university for this semester, and you guys are charging me for 18 days, so you just need to change that to four days, recalculate it, and then I'll pay what I owe you all. But you're not going to charge me for 18 days. I don't know why you charged me 18 days when I only went four days. I sent you an email, and I put well, the, the dates that I put. I was only there for the 13th, 14th, and the 16th, or the no. 13th, the 15th, and the what? 16th. Yeah. You're, I'd rather have this conversation in person. Then. Why? And I'd like to officially, well, let me finish. Um, I'd rather have the conversation in person, but since it seems to be concern, I'll go ahead and have the conversation with you now. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, I'm willing to I'm willing to do well, I'm willing to do this for you. I will make the whole thing go away. You'll owe nothing. I'm going to release your transcripts. Okay. That's that works. Yeah. That seems to work out in both of our favors. I mean, I'm not happy about the decision and stuff, but you allow me to go on. That that'd be fine. You know what I mean? I can. All right. I'm all. But and this is why I'd rather have the conversation in person because I don't like doing this type of thing over the phone. Right. But based on the concerns that everyone is expressing um, and the videos that I've been seeing, um, I'm going to pronounce you persona non grata on campus. Persona non grata. You are, you are persona non grata, person not present. You are not to be on our campus. Okay. Um, it's a private university. I assume I, that's the way it would be anyways. Do what? It's a private university, so I, I guess I was assuming that's how you guys would have... Uh, yeah. I mean, again, I don't, I don't really don't want to do that. I mean, what, um, would prevent, what would prevent that from happening like that? Well, if you show up on my campus right now, um, it would be trespassing. No, what would prevent, like, why you said you'd prefer not to do it, so what what needs well, to happen? I'd do it because I'd prefer that you and I talk and have conversations, and, the, you know, I know this has been hard. Um, I, yeah, it has been. For two and a half years, I feel like y'all have been fucking with me, and you haven't given me an education. You, for $60,000, I have nothing to show for it, nothing. I mean that's not that's well, not a good I, that's not a good show. So I mean I, I don't know I can't well, I don't know if I can yeah go ahead. I think that you're having a hard time taking taking your piece of the responsibility. Um, I, I can tell you from I think, personal yeah, experience yeah. that Elizabeth Rogers stood up for you. I mean she absolutely stood up for you. It, it's called and false and generosity. You turn on her, dude. It's she turned on me. Turn on she her. turned she stole $100,000. She stole $100,000 away from me without blinking an eye. She can go to hell. Well, that is not the case. That is the case. $100,000. How much money have I spent on that university? How much money have I spent? For that I don't know. Okay, that's that's, and you also don't know about the two and a half years. You, I just met you guys three months ago, and you guys totally threw a two and a half years out the window and a hundred thousand dollars. And you didn't even listen to what I, I mean. Uh, Thirty minutes of all the crimes of Julie Chancellor that didn't matter. She basically and Terry Shoon, T- Terry Shoon molested me. So you know all these crimes are allowed to happen to me, but you all don't care when anything you know if anything happens to me. Like that's that's bull crap. If if it happens to me, it's okay. But if it happens to anybody else, like if any. Anything that you guys want to, you know, it doesn't matter. I feel like you guys are hypocritical. You hold me to standards you all don't apply to yourselves. So, I mean, if you're, you know, y'all let me get molested, that's fine. You know, that is, it's not fine at all, but you don't care. It wouldn't matter anyways to you. So, well, what can that's I do not, about this? Well, that's not the case, and I'd, I'd like to, uh, like I mentioned previously, I'd like to meet with you and talk about your concerns. I would so talk about it, but... It, to meet with you when you make people so uncomfortable by... You know, putting 
recording devices in their faces. <laughs> You all have recording devices all over that campus, so that's very, that's another hypocritical thing. You're going to record everything that I do, and then you all been typing all these little files on me the whole time. You, and you will say, ooh, you know, look at what you're doing. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm doing is protecting myself. You all been lying to me. I've called Bursar's office, and, and according to them, I was going to get a $5,000 check. I was going to get a refund, um, and then I could have used that money to go on to the next thing. But then all of a sudden, everything changed. So, you know, I, I, I'm not getting straight answers from you guys, and I... What, what else can I do? What else can I do? When I go to somebody and I say, hey, the bursar's office said this. Well, who was it? Well, she wouldn't tell me her name. And, you know, what am I supposed to do about that? Well, I need to know who you are. I need to know who I'm talking to. And I need to know, I need to be able to say, this person said this thing to me. Um, or else I have nothing, you know. You know, when I tell you that, like, you're going to go to bursar's office. I'm not sure if they'll admit to charging me 18 days instead of four days, you know, incorrectly. I don't know if they'll well, do that or not. Here's, here's what I think will be beneficial only deal with me if you want me to come in today but i mean what what i don't know what that would do you know a person a face-to-face well, no, -face conversation general, if you have questions if you have concerns only deal with me yeah no that's 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 fine because again I, you know i i can deal with you I, I think other people are. Really I don't think nervous. it's. I don't think it's deal with me. I mean, frankly, she was treating me like shit, and that's when I turned it on. She was like, "You need to owe me money." Well, you need to explain it to me to where I understand it, and she wasn't one, willing to do that. So, you know, like when people start oh. being rude to me and mean to me, that's when I see everything kind of going all out of control and shit, and that's that's bullshit. My concerns matter. I matter. I'm a man, well, and I'm a person on this planet. Matter. Well, it does not happen. I haven't. I haven't Spalding University has not treated me like that for two and a half years. Two and a half years. It's been nothing but oppression and ridicule and uh, and it and, and miseducation. There was no education that went on. There was you know. So I, I am not happy with the services rendered. And if I could just go on, you know, if you could just fix this mistake and I could just go on, I think I would be happy with that. If you want me to come well, in I, so we could just kind of bull, shoot the shit a little bit, that's fine. But, I mean, if you just want to sign, you know, get me to sign something that says you need to stay the fuck away forever, you know, you can email that to me if you really want me to sign something like that. But I also want to sign, you know, that thing about uh, 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 Terry Shoon, so. Well, if, I, I, and that's part of what I'm, if you want me to pursue... An investigation. I, I need a written statement. I wrote the. Uh, I wrote, sent you an email, and I went ahead and did the uh, thing online, the uh, infraction report or yeah. whatever. And I saw those, and and that that's sort of the beginning of the process. But like, what I really need is an interview. I should put it better. Um, I need to to take your statement. I need to then show you. Here's what I'm hearing you say. Here, you know, I need to ask all these questions, and basically do a, the, the preliminary piece of an interview. So you ask all these questions of me, but whenever uh, somebody says that I bullied them, their word is just taken up automatically. You, you see where I'm saying? Well, yeah, no, Julie Chancellor, Julie Chancellor called Elizabeth Rogers and said, oh, he just left, she lied, and they, you just accepted her hearsay, and, and then, you know, uh, uh, went ahead and ruined $100,000 in two and a half years of my life. And, you know, like, well, that, with that, no investigation, no investigation, no questions were asked. You're all treating me different than what you're treating them, and it's not fair. Well, the, Julie doesn't work for me. Right. Elizabeth Rogers does. Elizabeth Rogers does, and so does Terry Shoon. And the, you guys are covering, you know, the molestation up. No, and that's why if you, if you come and meet with me and I do an investigation, then I'm following up. Right, right. So you can ask me whatever yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, but you can ask me questions right here, and I could send you whatever signed statement you need. I could scan it in, you know. I could correspond with e with email. You're making me drive an hour away, you know, to a place that I have not felt comfortable with since day one. Okay. I mean, that, that makes sense to me. I mean, the way you put it there, I can get a bit better. So um, I can't do it today, but let's schedule a time next week. And what I will do is we'll do a phone interview. Okay. Um, and that way I can move forward with an investigation. And then just so you understand, once you make an allegation... It's not an allegation that happened, so I'll go ahead and sign everything that needs to happen because she, I should not have been allowed, that should not have happened, that she could rub a person's leg and then I'm just supposed to sit there. But the, you guys are oppressors, so it doesn't matter. You're allowed to do anything you want to to me. You can molest me if you want to, right? And that's bullshit. That no, should not have happened. That's process. ridiculous. I, like, I, I will investigate that. I know, but I'm just, Julie Chancellor, everything that uh, Julie Chancellor did to me, Elizabeth Rogers didn't 
didn't give a shit, right? She did not give a crap about. So how can, you know, that's all I'm saying is I guess I'm talking emotional right now. Um, but that's for my benefit. But the idea is, you know, for three days, y'all can do whatever y'all want to me. You can bully me. You can ridicule me. You can insult me. You can laugh at me. And, uh, and it doesn't matter. I'm going to get a hundred thousand dollars stolen away from me. So I feel like the next step, well, if I got molested, y'all wouldn't.